There she is. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Hello. It's rough. It's really rough. No brakes in the night. Well, folks, what's good? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are at Blackline, who are specialists in modifying cars, sourcing vans, selling vans, air suspension wheels. And uh, yeah, today, it's the start of a new series on the channel. For those of you who only really know me from bikes, um, you might not know that I have quite a bit of a history with cars and modified cars. So the background here is my 1997 Nissan Silvia. And uh, over the years, I've built quite a few um, sort of show winning magazine featured cars. So um, yeah, today we're gonna pick up my new van um, and then we're gonna come back here and we'll chat to you about what we're gonna do with it. So um, yeah, me being me, it's just not gonna be a standard build. Um, it's not just gonna be uh, you know, run the mill diesel van. Um, we've got some plans for it. So yeah, gonna head down the road here, lift the van um, and then we'll come back and we'll chat to you uh, a bit more about what we're gonna do. That's us loaded up right here the road. Uh, I mean, it's in the background here. This is Gavin's uh, TSI transporter, so petrol, about 400 horsepower, I think. Um, so we're going to be using it to tow his uh, Super down to get remapped, drop it off in Wicklow, and then hit Dublin on the way back and pick up my van. So yeah, can't wait to show you what we're going to do with it. Um, should be should be a fun build anyway. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. That's great, cheers. So well, we oh no, he's ro rocking the pink hat as well, like. Oh, this, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You good, man? Yeah, good. Yourself? Ah, tired. Oh, fucking hanging. <laughs> this is more of it today. Hmm? I was gonna say it's some size, like. Oh, yeah. There we go. There she is. What a. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I love it. Can't wait. Absolute piece of shit. But well, it's gonna be cool. It is gonna be cool. You're like me, you have bad visions. I'll do that. You wanna take it first gear and just use the hammer? Ah, dead on. If you turn right here, just bring your background to the front of the building. Dead on. No brakes at the minute, so we're driving here on the handbrake, which is uh, nice and good fun. Um, yeah, it's it's rough, it's really rough, but it's going to be getting a good bit of work done to it. Engine swap um, and tie it up, but going to get loaded up on the trailer here, and then we'll go through the details of the build once I get back to Blackline. So there we go, there is the new van. It's a 2008 Volkswagen Caddy Maxi. Um, currently has a blown turbo. Engine is replaced. There's no brakes. And uh, yeah, it looks like shit. Um, but we only really need it for the shell. We have a donor car there. We're gonna swap most of the, pretty much the entire wiring, the entire engine, lots of ancillaries. So we've gone to up the road here with the, the transporter. Um, and then I will uh, go through the donor car, show you what we're going to do, talk our plans. So yeah, again, big thank you to Paul Glennon um, for picking me up with this and sort of keeping it there for me. Um, it was 500 euro, so 
you know, is what is to be expected of a 500 euro car. I think it's like 260,000 miles on it. But again, we're just using the sale. So yeah, go and check out Paul's YouTube channel as well. Um, does a lot of this cool sort of Mark III VR6 stuff. So uh, worth checking out, I'll put his link in the description. Right, back to Belfast. <coughs> right, okay, so we are now back in Blackline. The caddy is off the trailer. And uh, yeah, let's have a little chat about what we're gonna do here. Behind me, you'll see two Volkswagen Passats, both of which have a 3.2 FSI petrol engine. Very similar to the R32 engines in the Mark IV and Mark V R32s. V angle is different, so it's a 15 degree angle in the R32, and these 10 degree, and there's a bit less cooling capacity as well. Black car was bought Actually, brown car. Get a light on it, it's brown. So brown car was bought to be a donor car for the blue car. Rear diff was taken out of it and a couple of other bits and pieces. Um, but the plan is that the, the caddy will be getting the entire engine, um, wiring loom, ancillaries. Yeah, pretty much we're gonna try and take as much Passat as possible, put that into the caddy, and then try and get the door modules and all the little specific parts working. So the reason for doing this here is that the electronics on the Passat are much superior to that. So you can actually retrofit most of the stuff from the most modern generations back to a B6 Passat. Also let us keep the air conditioning um, and a couple, couple other bits and pieces. Yeah, that does in itself present a few challenges. You know, Passat is not the ideal donor car. You know, there's some issues we're gonna have to work around there in terms of you know, different keys, clocks don't fit. Um, where it's immobilized. Um, also, Passat's have an electric handbrake, whereas the van has a mechanical handbrake. Um, and yeah, there's quite a few things we're gonna have to figure out, um, but the engine will bolt pretty much straight in, um, take the entire subframe, bolt it in, um, and then we'll figure out the rest as we go along. Good thing is, same generation, um, you know, very similar years, so the electrics and coding part shouldn't be too difficult and that's the biggest concern and engine swap is obviously the electric side of things. So yeah, now I think it's time to answer the age-old question. Will a dirt bike fit in the caddy? Let's give it a go. So there we go, the bike is in. And this year bike, it's a bit more difficult. Um, so the 2024s have a different geometry, so they're a bit taller. So what we'll have to do is crank the forks down, roll the bars forward, but it's in. Yeah, happy enough with that. All right, so that's just not black line today. You've seen the van, you've seen the plans. Next thing is to try and get it MOT'd before we import it and then we can start ripping it apart and get the 3.2 on it. So yeah, looking forward to that, but I will see you in the next video. Cheers.